Hello! Welcome to my channel, Moonflower Tarot. So before I begin, I do want to remind you guys that I do have an Etsy page, um, however, it's in the works, um, and so I will announce when that is all set up and ready to go. Um, so let's get straight into your reading. So the purpose of this video or tarot reading is to figure out um, what are some hidden blessings and also some hidden blocks. So hidden blocks and hidden blessings in your life um, that may be hindering you or that may be upcoming. Um, like for example, um, when it comes to blocks, I'm talking about hidden um, things that might be blocking your progress um, in your life. And when it comes to hidden blessings, I'm talking about some really positive things that might be coming your way that um, might just be hidden at the moment. Okay, so with that, let's get straight into your reading. So we have three piles, one, two, three. Each pile, um, we have a trinket. So we have pile one, the starfish, pile two, the heart, and then pile three, we have the orange. Okay, so I'm going to count down from 10, and that's going to give you 10 seconds to decide between the three piles. Um, and before I begin, I do want to... Um, just remind you guys that these videos and these tarot readings, they're not going to resonate for everyone because they're such general readings and ultimately they're for entertainment purposes only. Um, so with that, um, let's get straight into your reading. Um, okay, so I'm going to count down from 10 and that'll give you time to decide between the three piles. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so I'm going to start from pile 1 and... Um, move the other two piles out of the way temporarily. Okay, so here we have pile one. We have um, the starfish pile. I'm getting some watery energy, so you might have some uh, water in your astrology, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and by water I'm talking about Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Okay, so what are some hidden blocks? Let's start with some hidden blocks for pile one, please. Okay, so this one definitely wants to come out so here we have temperance okay so hidden blocks we have temperance hmm we have the queen of swords for hidden blocks so i'm gonna pull one last card for hidden blocks okay this one wants to come out and we will start oh ace of wands okay so for pile one um hidden blocks okay in your life I'm seeing here that some hidden blocks, some of you guys have fire in your astrology um, and you're very, very, and by fire I mean Aries, um, Sagittarius, or Leo, and some of you guys are just very, very spontaneous, you're very impulsive, and sometimes that is a really pleasant energy, it's a really fun energy, it's really spontaneous, however, I'm seeing here that there might be a need to temper that a little bit with the temperance card. Um, literally, this is the card of Sagittarius, but um, there is an importance here in tempering your um, immediate desire, like immediate thoughts and desires. Um, when you feel like, okay, I am I feel impulsive, like I want to, you know, eat my entire pantry of cookies, or I want to. Um, go do this thing that I'm not supposed to do like for example, maybe um, I Don't know. There's just there's a lot of things that you might feel um, the impulse to do but you shouldn't do um, So that's just something to keep in mind that might be blocking you from Progressing in your life with the Queen of Swords. I'm seeing a need for discipline for self-discipline um, I'm seeing here that yes, yeah, some of you guys you might be trying to maybe, yeah, like study, like some of you guys are learning something new. Some of you guys are really trying to, I think, improve your lives. That's sort of the energy that I'm getting. Um, but I am seeing here that there is a need for like you to um, sort of set a set schedule, um, self-discipline. Um, whenever you feel like, oh, I don't really feel like doing X, Y, Z, whether that be exercise or, um, you know, 
doing the the whole um, full you know however many hours you're supposed to be studying when you're learning something um, this is just a reminder that you should be very strict with yourself um, especially with the ace of wands I don't know why I'm getting like being really strict with yourself like um, maybe okay this might help you guys um, maybe writing down a list of like a list of things you want to accomplish um for the day by the end of the day and just tell yourself no matter what um unless there's some really extenuating circumstance you should get it done um especially with temperance queen of swords and ace of wands i'm seeing here that yes yeah, some of you guys there's a need for self-discipline and that might be something that is a hidden block is um maybe just not that you're lazy or anything like that but maybe sometimes you're impulsive and you, spontaneous which is a good thing but at the same time you know when it comes to disciplining yourself and really sort of um keeping yourself on track when it comes to your goals um this might be something that you might just want to like temper a little bit and um yeah self-discipline is definitely um and also self-motivation with ace of wands is definitely coming to mind as well okay so let's figure out some hidden blessings for you guys some hidden blessings Okay, so hidden blessings. Let's see. Hidden blessings. Okay, this one. Oh, wow. We have the six of wands or hidden blessings. Okay, let me actually move this up here. Okay, hidden blessings. What do we have for group one? Hidden blessings, please. Wow, look at that, the magician. Okay, this is really, really, I'm getting some really positive energy for you guys. So hidden blessings, please, for group one. Hidden blessings, please. Okay, this one for sure. It's peeking out. Page of Cups, whoa, okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. Okay, so hidden blessings for you guys, for group one. I'm definitely seeing here that there's some really positive stuff on the horizon for you guys, group one. For example, um, six of wands. I'm seeing a little goes a long way with you, group one. When it comes to tempering whatever it is, your finances, um, your impulses, your um you know sort of knee-jerk reactions even um just sort of balancing that out and like regulating yourself monitoring yourself is really going to go a long way i see victory ahead um with the six of wands i also see the magician which um so i'm seeing here that with a little bit of self-discipline is really going to go a long way when it comes to your manifestations um i think it was some famous greek philosopher who said the most important step is the first step or something along those lines i'm, I'm paraphrasing but um that's definitely coming to mind here with the page of cups and the ace of wands i'm seeing here that some of you guys are really gonna really going to benefit from something that you start this could be like a new project a creative project or new something new creative endeavor or something that you're pursuing when it comes to um something that just really genuinely motivates you in life um you're going to be hearing some really positive news with the page of cups um wow this is really interesting i'm really curious to know what this is but i'm definitely getting like this is either a new job offer or something that you're passionate about um if that rings a bell um you're going to be hearing something really positive um with the page of cups um possibly getting some message some really really um, um positive message here so let's try to figure out some advice um i know i gave you advice earlier but let's try to figure out some more hmm. with this i have this oracle deck here so advice for group one please for some of you guys i'm even getting that you're starting a new not necessarily a new company some of you guys yes you are starting a new company but um some of you guys might even be starting your launching your own business um like a small business or maybe like an online business where you might be maybe like pitching it to investors or something that's kind of what i'm getting as well some of you guys are starting a new career path or learning something new or even applying for a new degree or new um program when it comes to furthering your education or something like that um but you're gonna be hearing something really positive it really depends on though um 
monitoring yourself, self-discipline, and self-motivation, especially with the um, temperance card here. So, and yes, I'm getting a lot of fire in your astrology once again, or water. Okay, so let's see. Some advice for group one, please. Okay, we have vision. We've got earth. Okay, wow, this is actually really, um, really going well with what we just pulled earlier, but let's see what else we have. And then we have bond. So maybe you guys um, work in the sciences, like a STEM field um, or something related to science or technology or like math or something um, along those lines, or maybe even um, social sciences, like psychology or something. Um, okay, well, so with the vision card, yes, like I said, um, there's a need to sort of remember your vision like whatever goal you have in mind um i don't know why i'm getting keep your eye on the prize that's what i'm getting with the earth card yes um there is a need to be stubborn with your goal like if someone tries to distract you from your goal or even if it seems like you're distracting yourself or like maybe external distractions there's a need to with the queen of swords um self-discipline there's a need to sort of apply self-discipline in that scenario um, with the bond card. I'm getting that some of you guys are going to be one of the blessings I see here that's hidden might be either a friend or I'm getting um, like a professional contact or someone like maybe even a friend of a friend or something like that who may be able to introduce you to some really lucrative opportunity like i said whatever you're passionate about that's what this concerns um there's some opportunity that they're going to help introduce into your life with the ace of wands and the page of cups so definitely keep that in mind um like i said this could be like a friend of a friend a professional contact maybe even like an old co-worker or maybe even um someone that you met through like a networking like a professional networking event or something like that um with a bond card and this person is a hidden blessing like almost like a guardian angel or fairy godmother or um that might be hidden they might not be you might already have an inkling of who this person is but um yes just know that um so like comment subscribe share if this video resonated with you guys and i do want to remind you guys um don't forget to hit that notification bell um for any upcoming um or any uh, videos that i upload okay so without further delay i'm going to get straight into group uh two Let's get straight into group two. Okay, group two. Group two, you have chosen this heart pile. So I'm gonna get straight into your reading. Okay, so what hidden blocks are or what are some hidden blocks for group two some hidden blocks please um please let us know what needs to be brought to light when it comes to hidden blocks for group one please hidden blocks okay this one definitely is peeking out Oh wow, this is like the opposite of the last pile. So for hidden blocks, we have Ace of Swords. I don't know why, yeah, I'm picking like picking up an energy that's very different from the last pile, but um, let's see. Okay, so hidden blocks, please. For group two, we have Justice. Oh yes, okay, this is definitely sort of like the opposite of the last pile, but um, let me pick a third card and then we'll, I'll interpret. Um, so hidden blocks for group two, we have the king of wands, okay. And bottom of the deck, we have the wheel of fortune. Okay, so for you guys, guys pile two, um, your hidden blocks, I'm seeing here, for some reason, I don't know why I'm hearing um, all work and no play makes um, 
you know, XYZ a dull person. I don't know if you guys have heard that phrase. I'm paraphrasing. Um, I think that's how it goes. But basically, I'm seeing here with you, pile two, is that you are really too serious. I'm not saying you're too serious. Okay, there's no such thing as too serious, in my opinion. I think that's just a way for people to to you know try to make others open up if they're too introverted or whatnot. Um, because in my opinion, there's no, no such thing as too serious, but I don't know, that's just my personal opinion. Um, you might be an introvert though, okay? You might be an introvert. Um, some people might think of you as a very serious person with the Ace of Swords. Maybe you don't even show it on the outside, but inside it's like you're self-critiquing yourself um, with justice. Sometimes I'm seeing here that you fall into analysis paralysis. Um, this is something that is a hidden block. Uh, with the King of Wands, there is a need for you to sort of like drop the sword. If you always feel guarded when it comes to um, either making life choices or just, you know, in your everyday life, like you feel guarded, you feel like you're constantly on high alert or you feel like you're just too harsh on yourself, like constantly like criticizing like every little thing that you do, um, possibly from an inner voice. Um, I'm getting some of you guys might have air or virgo air being aquarius libra gemini especially libra with the justice card um and air in general with the um, ace of swords but i'm also getting virgo so some of you guys have a virgo moon or you have um you have the moon in your sixth house um which will make you sort of fall into self-criticizing um but i'm seeing here that that is a hidden block drop the sword um drop the scales that you might be holding where you're just like constantly holding the scales um like pictured in this image where you're like teetering teeter tottering back and forth between your decisions analysis paralysis over analyzing everything just stop just stop and just take a breath with the king of wands i'm seeing here there's a definite need to sort of step into this energy instead which is um getting more in tune with your true desires like let's say okay whatever like impulses um okay maybe not impulses that's a bad way to put it but like um some hidden desires that you might not even accept um into your consciousness um maybe because you're ashamed or maybe you feel like oh that's too selfish or i couldn't possibly demand that for myself um, maybe it's time to pay attention to those hidden um, needs or desires that you might sort of like repress or like press down because you feel like that's too selfish or like, oh no, I couldn't possibly X, Y, Z, whatever, you know, excuse, just drop it because with the King of Wands, I'm seeing a need to to really nurture your true passions, your true desires, your true inner needs. Um, this might even be subconscious. So I'm seeing here, pay attention to your dreams group too because... Um, yeah, I mean, that's really going to help you clear up some hidden blocks here is paying really paying attention to your hidden needs and desires that may sometimes come up in your dreams. You might even want to keep a dream journal um, next to your bed or even just a piece of paper next to your bed where um, every time you wake up, you just write everything down. It doesn't have to make sense. Just write whatever you remember from your dream um, and circle back and you can come back to that list or whatever, um, whatever you wrote down and it's going to give you some insight here. Um, so let's get into hidden blessings. So what are some hidden blessings, please, um, for group two? Some hidden blessings. Ooh, one definitely ended up just um, coming out. We have the five of pentacles. Okay, hidden blessings. Interesting. Okay, five of pentacles. Hidden blessings, please, for group two. We have strength. Oh, I love this card. Don't you guys just love this image? It's beautiful. Okay. I think that's one of my favorite cards of this deck. I love this. Anyways, um, okay, yeah, let's get into your topic again. So, um, hidden, okay, hold on one second. Okay, hidden blessings, please. Hidden blessings for group uh, two. Six of swords, ooh, beautiful. We've got um, some orcas as well. Some of you guys might be into dolphins. I'm getting Aquarian energy again with the air and then the dolphins. Um, King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Wow. Okay. So, I'm seeing her for you guys. Some hidden blessings that might be headed your way here. We have the Five of Pentacles, and then we have the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So, some of you guys 
are really going to be getting, I mean, are really going to be recovering. Not just recovering, but I mean like doing a lot better uh, financially with the Five of Pentacles. Maybe you guys had a bit of a hard um, turn with the um, pandemic um, and with, you know, any kind of financial sort of um, downturn in your life where you're really going to be um, picking things back up from that um, phase and um, whatever that phase was, like some financial hardship, you're going to be healing, you're going to be with the Six of Swords especially, um, you're going to be healing, you might even be getting some support from someone that you consider like a really good friend, a really like close family member or someone that you just considered to be like a really, really trusted mentor even. Um, I don't know why when I look at the orcas, I think of like soul tribe. So like somebody in your soul tribe might be giving you some really good advice or maybe even some insight or some support here that might be helpful um, with the strength card. Some of you guys are going to be not only improving your life when it comes to your finances, but I'm seeing here that some of you guys I see here, you're going to be maybe improving your love life as well. I don't know why. Normally when I look at this, I don't I wouldn't normally think like oh love is entering the picture, but for some reason, don't ask me why. When I look at this, I'm seeing um I don't know, maybe it's because Libra. So Libra is a card of Venus and strength is the card of Leo. However, um I mean, excuse me, um, Libra is ruled by Venus, um, the Justice card, and then Strength is the card of Leo, but here, for some reason, I'm seeing, like, divine um, feminine energy, and so a lot of Venusian energy here, um, I'm picking that up, so I am seeing here that some of you guys, um, your love life might be improving, you might be meeting someone new, meeting someone that, um, meeting someone, for some reason, I'm getting, this is someone who's going to help you heal from either your past or to help kind of ease this sort of um, habit that you have of analysis paralysis with the scales. <clears throat> it's really going to help bring you down to earth. It's going to add some, some kind of like grounding, like this grounding energy in your life, like this love interest that might already be around you or maybe they're approaching. I'm also seeing here there's like this balance uh, with this person. This person could be anyone. This one could be someone you're already um, with or like I said, someone who's coming towards you. Um, but I'm seeing here like they're going to sort of represent the sun. You're more like the moon. You might not be a feminine energy. You could be masculine as well, but you can flip the genders however it applies to any gender. But I am seeing here that this person will be like this sort of like have this therapeutic therapeutic effect almost like um you know how like some people have dogs um or pets as like therapy animals well um this person is going to be like sort of like that therapy pet but you know obviously this is a relationship uh with a human being um but they're going to sort of give you that grounding effect um it's gonna feel therapeutic um it's gonna feel like sunshine like warm sunshine like on your skin like this sort of healing calming grounding energy um so i definitely see that i also see healing so healing this could be maybe um just from any kind of past hardship maybe even this is healing your heart as well especially since you picked the um heart trinket um and also your finances like i said are going to be picking up like that area of your life whether it's through finally making the de de excuse me tongue tied the decision to pursue something that suits you better or maybe you're learning new skills you're learning like a new trade or something like that um, or maybe you're just choosing to do something differently that's going to lead to this really beautiful healing energy um especially with your finances. Um, I'm definitely seeing that or your love life, maybe even both. Um, okay, so lastly, I'm going to be um, asking for some advice for you guys. Let's ask for some advice here. So some for some, uh, can we have some advice for group two, please? Some advice. Okay, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so what advice do we have for group two, please? We have fire, we have travel, ooh, and then we've got 
resistance, okay? So advice for you guys, I'm definitely seeing a need for you to add some spice, add some fire, add some spice, some spontaneity into your life. Um, you know, like I said earlier, like maybe you're too self-critical, you're just, you, um, you need some fun, you know, you need to add, jazz it up, add some fun into your life with the fire. Um, especially when it comes to your career or finances, ask yourself what really drives you when it comes to things that you're passionate about. What really gets you going? That's something to keep in mind here. With the travel, I'm seeing possibly you might meet someone while traveling. You might meet someone who loves to travel. Travel is coming through. I also see not just like traveling as in like vacations, but traveling from like one phase of your life to another phase of your life almost like you're upgrading i'm getting like an upgrade in your love life and your finances um like this butterfly is reaching new horizons okay um with resistance i am getting a need to let go of the resistance um when it comes to you healing whether this is like a, um your heart or your finances whatever it is um you need to sort of let go of I'm also getting like, you need to let go of pushing down your true desires. Like what really gets, um, like I said, what really gets your engine going when it comes to what you're passionate about? What really drives you? Um, what do you really want in your life? Not just what like society, you know, says, okay, this is what you need to do. This, these are the steps you need to take. But what do you really want to do is I think what you need to ask yourself with the resistance because I'm seeing here... You need to sort of let go of repressing your true desires in order for inner peace. And once you reach that inner peace um, from the storm to these calm waters, you can finally heal with the Six of Swords. I'm definitely getting that um, for sure. And there's a lot around asking yourself what really drives you with the king of wands like what really what do you really want you know what are your desires that you might not even admit to yourself that you feel like oh this is too selfish or this is too like this is oh i, I you know that's not for me because blah blah you know what i mean like just what do you really want you know <laughs> ask yourself this what do you really want and really recognizing it um really coming to terms with it and then allowing yourself to actually pursue whatever those things are that's i see here that's really going to be positive it's really going to add some positivity in your life in a way that might even be life-changing here i'm definitely getting that so like, comment, subscribe, share if this video resonated with you guys, group two. Um, and I do want to remind you guys to uh, hit that notification bell um, just to be notified uh, when I upload new videos. So I will see you guys later, group two. And with that, I'm moving straight into group three without further delay. So group three. Okay, so group three here, we have, excuse me, let me just adjust my rings because they're sliding all over the place. Okay, so group three, you've chosen the orange wheel. I'm getting some really positive energy from you guys. Um, a lot of warm, um, kind energy. I'm getting really kind energy. Um, you're like a people person I'm getting. Ooh! Okay, so some already popped out here. So hidden blocks. So I was gonna ask about hidden blocks. So let's actually um, keep those cards here because they might be significant here for you guys. So let's see, some hidden blocks. Let's pull some more cards. So what are some hidden blocks for group three, please? Some hidden blocks. Hidden blocks for group three. This one wants to come out. Okay, so we have the 10 of wands. Okay. Hidden blocks, please. We have the nine of coins or nine of pentacles. Hidden blocks. Hidden blocks for group. Okay, we have the king of swords. 
And this one also wants to come out. So, okay, I know this is a lot of cards, but um, this one definitely wouldn't come out. We have Seven of Swords. Okay, so when it comes to hidden blocks, I'm seeing here that in the past, okay, there's definitely a holding on to the past. I'm definitely getting that with the Six of Wands and the uh, Six of Swords. There's something to do with something really beautiful that happened in your past. This could be a past marriage, a past relationship for a lot of you guys, a past victory or something in your life in your past that you considered this is this was like my shining moment that you might have left behind for whatever reason. This could have been maybe you got a divorce. This could be you broke up with someone. This could even be maybe um, maybe some of you guys got let go from like a job or something. Um, this could be anything, but something that you really valued. I'm seeing here that you left behind in your past um, in the 3D physical realm. Um, however, you are holding on with the 10 of wands. Um, this is about burdens with the 10 of wands. You're, you've been holding on to the past and with the Seven of Swords, it's almost like by holding on to the past and not moving on fully um, towards the future, it's like you are almost stealing your own progress from yourself, like stealing your own positive energy from yourself or not allowing yourself to truly leave the past behind. And that's like taking from yourself, taking from your progress taking from your positive energy, um, especially when it comes to the realm of your finances with the nine of coins, but also with the king of swords, I am also seeing some emotional blockages. Um, some of you guys might have left a, a relationship that might not have been abusive, but I am seeing here it was problematic. Um, Especially with this, I'm seeing here maybe someone was controlling you in either a marriage or relationship through finances. Um, maybe trying to sort of like control you with their money. Um, this isn't going to be for, for all of that, excuse me, for all of you, but this could be for a good chunk of you guys. Um, this might not be like a past spouse or past partner, but this could be just someone who maybe even a boss who is sort of like a bully because i mean with the king of swords this is someone who is ruthless and sort of um abuses their power like that kind of energy um like they're drunk on power and they're very um they're very ruthless they're very cutting with the sword um but i'm definitely getting that energy but you need to let that go okay because this is definitely a hidden block and I'm sorry this, whatever happened to you, I'm sorry this happened to you. Um, however, I am seeing here that um, by holding on to the past, maybe this could even be like a grudge or it's somehow like you're holding on in a way that takes away from your own progress and your own positivity. Okay, so that's the hidden block here. Um, you might even be communicating still with someone who you know is toxic or who know you know doesn't have your best interests at heart, and that's also holding you back. Um, okay, so let's get into um, hidden blessings. Okay, so hidden blessings with group three. What are some hidden blessings, please? Hidden blessings. Some hidden blessings here. Ooh. Okay, we had a bunch pop out actually, but... I'm not gonna take these because there's just too many. Um, okay, let me shuffle. So hidden blessings, please, for group three, hidden blessings. What hidden blessings do we have? Hidden blessings for group three. Okay, we have the seven of coins. Eight of Cups. The Emperor. Okay, let's pull some more. So we have the Moon. Beautiful. Okay, I'm actually going to pull from the top 
for some reason. This I don't know why I'm getting this energy to pull from the top. We have the Page of Swords. Okay. And bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. Okay. Hmm. Let's actually pull that one out as well. Okay. So, here I'm definitely seeing an energy of stability, especially with the Four of Wands. Um, so, hidden blessings. I'm seeing here a positive opportunity, a work opportunity coming your way where you're going to be leaving um, some financial hardship behind or a situation that you didn't want to be in. Maybe you were working a job in your past that you just really didn't like. You didn't feel like it was really resonating with your true soul purpose. I'm seeing here that some of you guys are finally going to be able to leave that behind because you're going to be presented with a much better opportunity that's much more stable with the Four of Wands. This is also the Marriage card. Um, and with the Ember and the Marriage card, um, Four of Wands, some of you guys are just going to be meeting somebody new when it comes to love. Or maybe this might be someone who's already around you. You're going to be um, taking the next step with this person in a really positive way. It's going to be very stable, very grounded. With the moon card, I'm getting that this is likely someone new or someone that you don't really know very well, but for some of you guys, it's going to be someone that you already know who's already around you, but I'm getting here um, really stable energy. You're going to be taking the leap into the unknown, okay? Um, with the moon card. This person, whoever this is, this new love interest that's either coming your way or already around you, but for a lot of you guys, this is someone that I'm seeing here that you don't really know very well who might be coming towards you, like maybe in the future. Um, this is someone who's quite mysterious. They could be a water sign, um, Pisces, can Cancer, Scorpio, or they could be like a water moon um, and sun sign. For their sun sign, they could be either like an Aries, Leo, or Capricorn. Um, this is someone who's very stable um, when it comes to their life, their emotions especially. They're extremely, they've got it together emotionally. Their life is very stable when it comes to, I'm seeing here this person is very family oriented. This person is very stable when it comes to their finances and they just have their life together, okay? Um, but another thing to keep in mind with the Page of Swords, I'm seeing here that there is a need to really put your foot down when it comes to your past coming back to haunt you. Let's say like you, let's, okay, some of you guys got a divorce or you left um, a relationship that was toxic or just something in your past that you left behind. This could even be an old job that you felt like this is really draining my soul. Um, if they reach back out to you uh, with the page of swords, there's a need to put your foot down and just sort of completely either cut contact. I'm not saying you have to, you know, go completely like cold turkey, whatever this situation is, because it's going to be case by case. But with the page of swords, there's a need to put your foot down and to really say, no, I'm not dealing with that right now. And to really just put an end to that energy, um, to even dealing with that or communicating with that energy, okay? Um, because this, like I said, with the seven of swords, um, every time you interact with that toxic or negative energy, you're, it's like almost like you're taking from yourself when it comes to like taking your own positivity from yourself. That's the energy that I'm getting here with the seven of swords. Um, wow. But this is really beautiful. I see a lot of progress, um, in your financial, in your finances, as well as in your love life. Um, beautiful. Okay. Pile three. So I'm going to be lastly pulling some advice for you guys. Pile three. Advice for pile three, please. Advice. Give us some advice, please. Okay, so here we have deceit. Okay, yeah, there's a, definitely a need for you to um, cut ties with any kind of deceitful energy. This could even be self-deception as well. Like denial, there's a need to uh, put an end to self-denial. Okay, and then we also have life. Yes, new life. Some of you guys are going to be conceiving. Um, some of you guys are going to be starting something new when it comes to either um, a new creative endeavor or even a new relationship. I'm getting, for some reason, a new relationship for a lot of you guys. 
And lastly, we've got home, yes. Finding your forever home, either um, like a job that feels like, okay, this is where I'm really meant to be, or maybe starting your own business that feels like home. Maybe even meeting that person who feels like home. This could be interpreted in many ways, obviously, but um, ultimately, yes, I'm getting you need to let go of deceitful energy. I'm seeing here some of you guys in your past, you're dealing with people who gossip a lot. Um, you need to sort of um, draw some boundaries with the Page of Swords here um, with that deceitful energy. And this is really going to clear the path for new progress, new positive things. Um, it's really going to clear that blockage in your life and really open, clear the way for progress and positivity to really enter your life, especially with this card I'm getting. Um, for some reason with the moon card, I'm um, getting the unknown, the hidden. There's something on the horizon that you, I think maybe you subconsciously know is for you, but um, in order for it to, in order for you to allow yourself to step through this um, gateway or this, um, this archway, is to really let go of negativity in your past that you know is not good for you. Um, and once again, with the home card, I'm seeing here just this feeling of coming home, whether this is your create uh, within your the realm of your creative passions or your love life, whatever it is. Um, maybe even spiritually, you just finally feel like you're at peace um, with whatever you're doing in life, like how you're living your life. Um, so this is really beautiful pile three so like comment subscribe share if this video resonated with you guys um and i do want to remind you guys um to hit that notification bell to get alerts whenever i upload new videos okay so i'll see you guys later love and light